into the streets of Shreveport. Do you guys really think all this violence is actually worth it? Now, for those of you that missed the first episode of Warren City Girl, the link is in the description below. Everybody fire your blunts up and pull your drink up. Let's get to it. That ain't really how you will. Nigga, you ain't no shooter. You ain't never caught a body. My whole team promoting violence. Nigga, you ain't no shooter. Uh -uh. Bitch, I'm out that way. that way. Make me go rumbo with this cake. Boom, boom, Nigga, boom. you ain't no shooter. I'm a mechanic with that And one more thing. We highly recommend you watch the first episode if you didn't see the first episode before you watch this. All right, so today in the war in Cedar Grove, we're going to take you guys back a little bit and give you a little back history on how most things started and how things played out. About 95% of the guys you see in this video were a part of OTWB, a.k.a. Dumbway. OTWB had members from all three parts of Cedar Grove, from the west side, the east side, and the valley. But a few chain of events caused OTWB, a.k.a. Dumbway, to split parts, and everyone had to choose a side because things had got real, and we're going to get to that in just a moment. OTWB had a couple of standout rappers, such as YG Mitri, Hollywood Kane, 2 Up, and of course, Blue Benji Kobe. Now let's get to it. This guy goes by the name of Didi. He's from Westside Cedar Grove, and he was murdered in 2013. It is rumored that Blue Benji Kobe had told Young Trill, move around. We took over the dumb way. You niggas can go another way. And Trill took that as disrespect. This is kind of where things begin to get sour. Didi was killed less than two weeks after making this post. And now this is where things get very, very interesting. This video here is in 2021, 2020. The guy in the blue goes by Blue Benji Shotter, a.k.a. Runko. Now guys, check out the lyrics. And we ain't even up yet. This shit by DD, fuck that shit by DD. on it like fuck that. Tell the niggas tripping, but the money ain't gonna touch that. And now we take you guys to 2016. This guy goes by the name of Cardo. He was a part of DD Way, which is known to the city today as Ratchet Committee. After Cardo's death, people went pointing fingers each and every direction. A lot of people in the streets thought that came from OTWB, but no one was sure and no one had no exact or direct proof. But hey guys, check this here out. This guy here goes by the name of Jakaris Harper. He's the guy that was indicted for the murder of Cardo. This guy here is actually from the Cooper Road, but it's rumored that he had street ties with Blue Benji Kobe. And if you really think about it, it kind of all plays out and makes sense because Blue Benji Kobe did attend Southern on the Cooper Road around this time. I'm pretty sure mostly everyone in the Shreveport area is familiar with Ratchet Life. Ratchet Life was good friends with Didi and Cardo. He tends to mention Didi Way a lot in his music. Here's one of the points right here. Okay, you guys remember we showed you guys YG Mitri at the beginning? Okay, so Ratchet Life took shots at YG Mitri and made a diss song in 2015. YG Mitri is one of the more popular rappers of OTWB. Here's a snippet. You say you clutching on them too, boy? Bitch, you a school boy. Come fuck a ranch your life, I bet you make the new boy. Now YG Mitri and I used to fuck with you till I seen the hatred in you showed me you a fuck nigga. You took my lyrics out that track trying to play me. So fuck a rap beat when I can get my shit from JD. You ain't no shooter, you never been in a shootout. The only shooters on that song with cocaine and two. So at this point, Blue Benji Kobe is ready to handle some business. YG Mitri is not with that. YG Mitri wants to keep it an internet thing, but Blue Benji's like, hell no, nah, let's take this shit to the streets. So anyways, Blue Benji Kobe went on to diss Ratchet Life, and Ratchet Life dissed him back. Here you go, take a look. Ratchet Committee, D.D. Way was officially named Ratchet Committee. Ratchet Committee also has ties with another group from City Grove called Soldier Gang. And in 2017, this is when S.O.D. and B.B.G. would begin to form. They came together, put all their war tactics together, and they basically double-teamed the Ratchet Committee. And S.O.D. wasn't weak at all. They had guys like Lil' Man, Bankroll, Big Nine, and Jigsaw number nine. And this is about when the war would really begin. Drive-by shooting on Interstate 20. Police tell us the deceased victim is 22-year-old DeAndre Brown of Shreveport. Authorities say Brown and his passenger, 22-year-old Keenan Frazier, were on the interstate near the Juella Avenue exit when someone from a passing vehicle fired shots at the car. Brown died at the scene. Frazier was hit several times. He remains in University Health with life-threatening. So October 2017, Ratchet Life was murdered. 
Ratchet Life was actually the guy that had the ticket in Ratchet Committee. Basically just a lot of diss songs turned to murders. Because Ratchet Life was actually a pretty good guy. He was just caught up in a bad situation and things started getting real and, you know, that's just how it played out. About the ending of 2017, OTWB was no longer a group. And also we have a fun fact for you guys. July 30th of 2017 would be the last East vs. West basketball game. Because after Ratchet Life's death, like, everyone went all their separate ways, sides were getting taken, and everybody's like, fuck everybody, there's no coming together, do nothing for the community. And dang, man, there will be no more East vs. West games for a long time to come. And as for the Ratchet committee side, you have Chaz, who's the big dog. And Chaz is the last guy that have enough money to drop a bag on anyone, or the only guy that would actually step on someone when it came down to beef. And besides Chaz, there's only a handful of guys that would actually do something or would actually make a move in the City Grove streets. And that would clearly be Teddy. He's known to get the business clear. And Westside Beatty, he's currently in CCC right now. The guy on the right. If you really go back and look at it, Blue Benji Kobe, all he was doing was taking up for his friend or catching his friend slack. And we're speaking on YG Mitri. Blue Benji Kobe really put his life on the line just showing his love and loyalty to YG Mitri. And YG Mitra was dodging smoke more than anyone, he went on to make a Facebook post saying, I have beef with no one, I'm not in tune with nobody. What the fuck? And to those of you who wondered why you never saw Blue Benji Kobe on pictures with 2-Op or YG Mitra anymore, YG Mitra actually became friends with Ratchet Life. Yes, and 2-Op also became friends with Ratchet Life, and they went on to all do songs together. That's why Blue Benji Kobe fell back and started doing his own thing. It was no beef, he wanted nothing to happen to them, but he had to fall back because they were fucking with the ops. You just have to respect it. Blue Benji Kobe should get a reward for Gangsta of the Year. He's the only guy to ever say, fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, and fuck them niggas, and never ever be cool with them. Fuck the whole clique, don't communicate with another clique. A lot of guys can't say they did that. This is majority of the dead guys from SODBBG. Although, Blue Benji Kobe was not killed by no one from City Grove. This is a list of the dead guys from Ratchet Committee, or Committee Lifestyle, however you like to call it. And just to let you guys know, there will be a part three and part four to the war in Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove is such a big neighborhood, it's hard to keep up with everything at once. So we will be back with another episode. Cedar Grove is most definitely one of the most popular neighborhoods in Shreveport. And guess what? All the, all the crime and violence is going on. There's no need to feel ashamed to be from Cedar Grove. Hell, Timmy Lane, filming all fucking over ya. Cross 70 Street and we gon' fuck clean over ya. Side, what's up? West side, what's up? Pine Valley, what's up? Cedar Grove and his mother East side, what's up? West side, what's up? What's up? Pine Valley, what's up? Pine Valley, what's up? Cedar Grove, what's up? Pine Valley, what's up? Cedar Grove, what's up? Pine Valley, what's up? West Side, what's up? West Side, what's up?